Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here with a purple leather soft thin line thumb index. Now, what makes this unique, this is the new comfort print edition from Thomas Nelson. Retails for $29.99. Now, the slip case is nice. The first thing you'll notice of this is the leather softs they're producing today are comparable or in some cases even better than some genuine leathers of recent vintage. You know, it's fascinating to me that genuine leathers, it depends on like where the cow is, what the cow is eating, what the cow's diet is. That depends on the genuine leather. So they can kind of hit these uh, all the time. Now, they make them with these things because the leather soft being petroleum based is kind of uh, slick. So they do this so it's easier to hold. It's not just for decoration. But you, you know, just like fine leather things have the, the stitching all around, these are going to have the stitching all around. This is just a gorgeous Bible with uh, uh, the silver edge on it. But now what sets this apart is the cover print. But another thing that they're doing for $29.99, you, I, I can't remember another Bible really with dual ribbon markers. You know, dual ribbon markers used to be the purview and the domain of just the ultra fancy Allen Cambridge Bibles on and so forth. Let me get this other ribbon marker out. And they just, you know, Nelson is just known for doing phenomenal ribbon markers perfectly. The width and the length are just perfect for this size Bible. And of course, the color scheme is just incredible with this. Another thing I noticed on their Bible indexing, I've done a, a video on Bible indexing, is some of the indexing, you know, and especially in the Old Testament, traditionally you would have three names on here. This one will have four. Now, I, I don't do Bible indexing. It normally uh, adds $10 to the cost of the Bible. And, uh, you know, I pretty much know where the Bible books are. But if you're a new Christian, they're really easy to use. Or even some people just want to, you know, just use them. What ends up happening over the course of time, unfortunately, just because usually of temperature variation, the indexes will fall out. So it's very rare to find an old Bible with the indexes still in here. So here is a note regarding the type and then also their beautiful maps. Nelson does some great maps, but most everybody is now. Computers really have helped. This is the best time for Bibles. But we're going to get into the print here in just a few moments. Let's measure this thing, though. But even before we measure, I did want to see, this says it is $39.99, if my eyes are reading that right. And so it would probably be $29.99 without the thumb indexing. And then you're going to be able to buy it cheaper than that off Amazon, off eBay, off CBD, um, on and on and so forth. Thomas Nelson actually sells these on their website. They'll run some good sales occasionally too. So this is nine inches high, nine inches high. Just a classical feel to it. Now it's still probably not, to me, quite as thin as the old Holman Ultra Thin, but this is just a great Bible. And it's about five and a half inches wide. So that's just a great size. And then it is right at one inch in thickness. One inch in thickness. So let's open this thing up. Now, it's not going to lay flat in Genesis, but most things aren't going to lay flat in Genesis. It has a really great presentation page and color scheme there. So I like that. Now, I used to imprint a lot of Bibles. I don't know how these leather sauce would imprint. I would assume good. But even like the Epistle Dedicatory, they do it in a phenomenal print. Look at that. I mean, readable. So I could see preachers using this. They might not want a purple one. Some might. But um, 
you know, I could see preachers preaching out of this, Sunday school teachers, ladies, men, just, you know, it would be a Bible for ever, anybody because it's just a great carry Bible. I've done a, a video on what's the best carry Bible and came to the conclusion that it was the Holman Ultra Thin from, but look at this print. And what they've done is with the lining process and the letter spacing, it's just fantastic. And this one looks a little different to me than their Pew Bible. But I would say this is probably eight, eight and a half point print, and I can read it. It's a very readable eight, eight and a half point print. Now, there is a lot of ghosting where there's no print, where there's no a line of, of text. But there's, there's almost none, if there is none, when there is, so they lined it real well. And here's what the red letter looks like. You know, it's very important to make sure you can read the red letter if you like a red letter Bible. Those were begun in about 1898 by Louis Klopsch with T. DeWitt Talmadge's help, red letter Bibles. And many people like red letter Bibles, some don't. I look at it as all the Word of God. I don't use a red letter Bible, but many, most people do. And, uh, but you want to make sure that the red letter is readable because a lot of people love their Bible and then they get to the words of Jesus and the red letter is almost unreadable. So let's look and see what it's got at the back. It's got a daily Bible reading plan, one year, 30 days with Jesus plan and maps. Um, so there is that. And the maps are just beautiful. Great maps. Of course, they're not going to bring the nation of Israel through any water when they come out of Egypt. I'm not sure what the anti-supernaturalism bias is amongst the Bible maps. When I told the people at Thomas Nelson about it, they said we never noticed it. I said, well, I do. So uh, have them going through water. Maybe it's because they don't know where. There's so much debate. Did they go through this side or did they go through the Gulf of Aquaba? On and on and so forth. I don't know. But they should have them going through water somewhere. Um, I was going to read to you this little section about the print because it is so revolutionary. This Bible was set in the Thomas Nelson KJV font, a typeface commission by Thomas Nelson Publishers and designed in Auris by Klaus Crow and Heidi Rand Sorensen of uh, 2K Denmark. The design takes inspiration from distinctive typeface found in an early Thomas Nelson Novum Testamentum uh, printed in 1844 in Edinburgh a type which in turn reflects several Scottish Roman typefaces created by the celebrated English punch cutter Richard Austin of the type foundry Willem William Miller, circa 1808-1813. The designers of the Thomas Nelson KJV fought, sought to reflect Thomas Nelson's rich 200-year tradition of stewarding the KJV while also embodying the best advancements in modern typography. The result is a distinctive new typeface that is uncompromisingly beautiful, bold, and readable at any size and perfectly suited to the King James Version. So that's a little bit of the history. God bless you. I would recommend this immensely. The Thin Line Bible, Red Letter Edition, KJV, Thomas Nelson. Two ribbon markers, credible quality, lifetime warranty. Can't beat it. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.